<laughs> um, like for people who have dark marks yeah. around your bikini your area, um, would you like encourage exfoliating, like oh, yeah, it, with a mix of laser, or would you just like say, yeah, "Yo, just go there. fucking"? Because they say wax, laser, exfoliate, or okay. do you do all three? All of my clients <laughs> are asking. <laughs> this. Yeah. Every single one of you, my DMs are flooded daily with, what do I do? My Brazilian, I'm dark, I'm gross, whatever. <laughs> You're not gross. You're not gross. All right. Welcome to the after show where you will get a front seat view on our conversations that happen behind the scenes. In this specific segment with Rayanne from Manlufer Aesthetics, she decided to individually analyze our skin types. So if you are someone who has dry skin, oily skin, struggles with acne, etc., she will subscribe to you specific products to make your skin look better and feel better. So if you are interested in receiving this information, please subscribe to our Patreon account for only $5 a month to get the tea. In the meantime, enjoy this episode. Shalisa Marie Radio. I am your host, Shalisa Marie. And I'm your co-host, Patrice Deanna. And your girl, I'm a baby. It's Chase Deanna. And welcome to another episode where we will be speaking about everything skin. We have the beautiful Rayan from... Nilla Fair Aesthetics. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Yeah, just bring the finest uh, okay. when it comes to skincare. Yes. I'll just say... Like she's bit, she's, she's booked, booked. <laughs> and <Booked up>. busy. <laughs> <laughs> it's overwhelming, but definitely thankful. Yeah, yeah for no, sure. And that. um, I just kind of want to just jump right into your story, how you got to this point, because I know you personally, personally, yeah. but I would like for everyone to know your story and your process of getting here because it didn't happen yeah. overnight. Mm-hmm. So yeah, just tell everybody about what you do and how Ooh. you got here. Well, um, I've actually always wanted to be like an esthetician ever since I was literally a child when my favorite aunt who lived in the States was an esthetician Mm -hmm. and she became an esthetician at the late age of like 45, but I was like, I don't know, just so infatuated with it. I would always, but I also loved fashion, but fashion was more so like a hobby and skincare was like, I I always want to be an esthetician. I want to be like my aunt. And, um, I struggled a lot in school so like school was like I never passed anything I was always in trouble I was a really problematic child and um (laughs) I figured out I had severe like (laughs) ADHD and then I was dyslexic and it was just like a struggle I never graduated high school and then I was in a really, really, really tough position with friends and like a relationship you Mm -hmm. know like I did come from a really abusive relationship as a lot of women have. Mm -hmm. And, um, as soon as, and then I, you know, got into some legal trouble because of that relationship. You know, when you're just so in love with somebody, you just find yourself making sacrifices and, you want Talk to play this it. ride or yeah. die. Ride or die, Bonnie. Yes. Or die. We all get sucked up into this ride or die yep, in there. position. And then I ended up getting arrested. And um, it wasn't even like, wow. okay, like I, I got arrested and I figured like, oh, whatever. Like I'll just be out tomorrow. And it was like, no. Mm-hmm. It was a whole year plus 17 months of house arrest. And then Jesus. it was like my childhood was just... I'm, I don't know. What was your like thought process during that time? Like, were you thinking about like, what am I going to do? Like, I thought my life was over. Honestly, I thought like I, there, I couldn't do anything because, you know, you have a criminal record now Mm -hmm. and, um, then you, it's like this battle of, do I leave my relationship? Do I stay? Um, it's all I knew. And then it was like. I wanted to do fashion. Everybody wanted me to pursue fashion. And it was like, I'm trying to tell people that I just like to sew when I'm bored, Mm -hmm. but I really want to do skincare. And then my family were like dead set against it. 
Um, really? They didn't want you to do skincare? No. Why? I, because they're like, it doesn't make money. Like, oh, you'll never make money doing skincare. So... Look at you now. Yeah, <laughs> literally. And then so after I came out of jail, I was just an, a, a wreck. Like, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't have any of the same friends. I wanted to let go of my relationship. And then I was having problems at home. You know, like, I just... I'm a disappointment now. Mm. And I was a huge disappointment to the family. And me just being Muslim and Arab, like, everything. Yeah, it was just, like, the sh- putting them to shame. Mm-hmm. And so I went to Lebanon for six months to just to kind of escape and try to figure out what it is I want to do. And while I was in Lebanon... I applied to Seneca Mm -hmm. for medical aesthetics and spa therapies without telling anybody. Um, I didn't tell my dad. I didn't tell my mom. When I came back, um, I had told my dad. I was like, yeah, so I applied for medical aesthetics. And he was so disappointed. Like, he was like... What? Wow. Because they wanted me to do fashion. R- really? That's so, that's yeah. so yeah. hard. It's the opposite. Yeah, I feel like fashion right? in the beginning doesn't make it's that much so money. Much but harder. I me. was really yeah. good at sewing. Looking, like, okay. okay, well, I was in high school. I was making prom dresses and suits and lingerie, mm. and I was like, oh, this. I'm making good money. I don't even care about anything else. And they saw that, and they saw the potential in that. But like, I just wasn't happy. Like. I was happy sewing. I wasn't happy selling. I wasn't happy making money for it because it became a chore. Mm, and um, <laughs> yeah, I went for medical aesthetics. Um, I tried first to apply to a private college, which was the Canadian Beauty Institute. They denied me as soon. They're like, okay, great, perfect. Now we need a background check. And I was like, for what? Mm. <laughs> I didn't know you needed a background check. That's very cool. That's what I was going to say. I, I was like, that. I didn't no, know you needed a background Yeah. So, I guess because it's private. Yeah. It's a private school. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, you can't have a criminal record when you're there. And so I went to Seneca. And um, it's crazy because I was horrible in school the whole, my whole entire life. I, even literally in kindergarten, I remember trying to build blocks and being like, I can't do this. I literally can't do <laughs> like, this. Nah. But Over in college, <laughs> my grades were like 90s and up. Because it's something that you Everything love. Everything that you yeah. love. Yeah. Yeah. When yeah. Everything was 90s and up. I was literally passing everything like amazing. And um, I shocked myself, like reading this textbook and being like, I want to read more. <laughs> and then because wow. I really was so intrigued with skincare, I had horrible acne like since I was in third grade, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. And I literally wanted to learn the science behind the skin, but what I wanted to specialize in was darker skin. Because the whole entire... Thank you. (laughs) You need more people like you. The skincare industry literally is targeted towards fair skin. Mm -hmm. And there's so much ingredients and even like services that darker skin can't do Mm -hmm. and it'll actually ruin your melanin but they won't tell you that Mm -hmm. and so in school i literally remember being like okay but what about darker skin and they'll be like oh well they don't really get facials done that often so it's like wow we just have it like that (laughs) yeah that's all i just got about that yeah i mean thanks but we do have issues that's so interesting that literally in the system they're telling you that like it was crazy it was crazy like i would literally like we'd be working in the spa in school on clients and i'd be like oh she's darker skin you can't use salicylic acid on her you should use glycolic because glycolic is a natural derived acid and Mm -hmm. with darker skin it's better to use more natural acids where salicylic is a man-made acid so it continuously Mm -hmm. eats at your melanin and she's like oh it's fine it's okay who cares like it doesn't really matter and i was just like what it does though Mm -hmm. they don't really (laughs) touch on darker skin i literally had to tell my teacher like um so what about darker skin and it was just always like a bother to just kind of like like, so you have to read ahead on your own and learn your own yeah Mm -hmm. yeah wow wow so you feel yeah. like, do you feel like you <laughs> kind of like did that learning yourself in terms of like focusing on? I went to school and I learned a lot in school, but I feel like for the most part, I am very self-taught. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of the techniques I do are not school. Like I would go yeah. to school and I would do things and I would be like, I don't like this. And going and getting a, fa- I've done gotten a facial done before at this one esthetician and she obviously is just going by the book and you just start to notice that they're just like robots they're just doing what's on the paper Mm. nothing is customized to the Mm -hmm. person's skin and i broke out in cystic hives i didn't go to school i was in high school i didn't go to school for three weeks and um looking back at it now everything she did was wrong but it's because i went there and i asked for a specific service 
she didn't know enough to recommend something mm-hmm. else. Mm-hmm. So now it's like when somebody comes to me and they go, hey, I need a micro needling. And I'll be like, oh, but um, it's not good for your skin. Maybe we should try this route and we need to get your skin. You know, if she has acne, we need to take care of your acne before we go ahead and do a microneedling for your scars. Yeah, mm-hmm. I won't do a microneedling on you. I don't care how much you pay me. And yep. then a lot of people do get offended. But I mean, you're saving them in the end. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And yeah. they'll realize when they go to someone else and get it done and it fucks. Yeah. Up and that's yeah. what happened with one girl. Actually, she went. I told her I won't do a chemical peel on her because. Um, she just didn't have the skin type for it. And she mm-hmm. goes, no, but I don't care. I'm fine with the risk. I'm willing to take the risk. And I said, no, she went and got a chemical peel and really, 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 really messed up her melanin. And now we were working on it. We actually Damn. got rid of the whole like hyperpigmentation issue, but it's like, don't just don't do that. Yeah. And always go to somebody that has worked on darker skin. Mm-hmm. Like if you guys go to an esthetician or anybody, mm-hmm. laser hair removal, whatever, <laughs> always go to somebody who has worked on darker skin. A hundred percent. Yeah. Do you want to tell us about some of your services that you offer and like what they do for skin? So my most popular services are obviously customized facials. So, um, the person comes if they have acneic skin, we're going to do some acne treatments, most likely a hydrofacial for acneic skin. Um, extractions, a form of uh, exfoliation if their acne isn't severe. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I'll, I, I do chemical peels, I do microneedling, um, I do waxing. Pardon me? What's microneedling? Microneedling is a procedure that where we use a pen and it has a certain number of needles on it. I'll just say 16 for now. And we puncture the skin with these 16 needles at a really, really, really fast pace. And what that does is it forces the skin, like we we cause trauma to the skin, forcing it to heal itself. So if somebody has ice pick scars or really large pores, mm, yeah. we we puncture it and force it to heal over is it. Is it painful? It's painful. Mm, okay. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> 16 years I was wondering. Skin. It may not be. <laughs> yeah. Shit. So if, like, do they, if they do like numbing or something? We numb it, but you feel it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. What would you recommend for like blackheads? Uh, extractions. As for products, any product with um, acids in them. So AHAs and BHAs. AHAs are natural derived acids where I lead my darker skin clients towards. So okay. AHA products. And then BHAs are what I lead my fair skin clients to. <laughs> so for like drugstore brands, what would you recommend for um, blackheads? That's a good question. Um Benzogel, period. There's actually... Benzogel. And then maybe the CeraVe, um, uh, the salicylic cleanser. Um, but there isn't really a toner that I would recommend from a drugstore. And usually toners really help with blackheads. Mm-hmm. So if you take a salicylic acid toner or a, or, a, or a glycolic acid or even a mixture of both, and you apply it on your nose every single day, those blackheads are going to disappear. Skip like one or two days if your skin is really sensitive, um, but make sure you moisturize over it and your blackheads should disappear. If they're anywhere else on your face, um, exfoliating and then using obviously an AHA or BHA concentrated product will help, Um, such as uh, anything from the... I don't really think there is drugstore things that are that concentrated with AHAs and BHAs. You'd probably Mm -hmm. have to splurge just a little bit more. Okay. But La Roche-Posay has a retinoid that really helps with that. La Roche-Posay is a little bit pricey, but it is drugstore. Do you like the ordinary brand? No. No? Oh, shit. Okay, go good. on. Because it's an influencer's yeah. like, go-to. Yeah, please, 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 please. I heard please, it was please. really good. Okay. What is it that, yeah, okay. where's Let's your Let's just put out on the table mm-hmm. that there is not a single brand I like everything by. Okay, yeah. Fair. Oh, okay, yeah, fair enough. So yeah. the only thing by the ordinary that I like is their glycolic acid toner um, used seldom because it's very strong and um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> is that the one? <laughs> that's is, that. is that the one that you use for a deodorant? Because I saw you post yes. that, which was oh, interesting because yes. I've been looking for like a deodorant that natural. is natural but doesn't yeah. make you stink. Yes. Yeah. So my mom had uh, breast cancer uh, twice. She beat it. She's healthy. She's great. Mm-hmm. She's perfect. Um, but one thing that... I wanted her to cut out is deodorant because Mm -hmm. yeah, it it clogs your pores right in there. Clogging your pores causes that lymph water to stay in there and you don't want, you want lymph to come out. Yeah. Um, and so I was just on the hunt for so many things and glycolic acid, it kills the bacteria that causes the odor. 
Mm-hmm. And um, it also dries up the area, but also helps with dark underarms. Mm-hmm. So that is a great product for underarms. I don't use it on my face. Um, if you do use it on your face, you can probably maybe not more than three times a week, especially if you're darker skin. If you have dry skin, I would say even just twice a week and only at nighttime because acids mixed with light almost causes a bleach, mm-hmm. which ruins melanin. So mm. what do you, what do you think about? So like, I know there's a lot of like natural remedies and stuff that you can do at home and that people also have, you know, share online and whatever. Uh-huh. How do you feel about like, uh, you know, like doing like clay masks or like turmeric or those kind of natural, using those kind of natural you know, things so many home? influencers, like big, People that do skincare are so against DIYs, and um, I never understood why. Mm-hmm. I love DIYs, and okay. to a certain extent, obviously, I hate sugar scrubs. Yeah. Period. <laughs> Anywhere on the body, on the face, okay. and why? that's because sugar is too abrasive, and it causes micro to the same micro tears that St. Ives causes. And mm. it causes breakouts. Sugar is not meant for the face. It's not meant for the skin. Is it going to make it feel temporarily nice? Yes. People like to, when they have the textured smooth. arms, they have chicken skin, they want to remove it. It's not going to get rid of your chicken skin. You're going to need an AHA or a BHA to get rid of that. You can actually use that same glycolic tone we were talking about by the ordinary to use there. Um, I prefer uh, just something that's a little bit less abrasive. Um, anything sugar scrub is a write off for me. It's a hell no, hell okay. the fuck no. <laughs> okay. no, no. What about salt? No. What's funny though, I was in jail and I was struggling with my acne. And um, I decided this before I went to school though for aesthetics. I decided to make a paste from the salt and I put. Um, I think I just mixed it with water and I just made like a little paste with like a lot of salt and water or Mm -hmm. something. And I scrubbed my face with it. Like it probably burned. Yeah. I don't remember exactly how many, how often I did it, but I remember I did it quite a bit, like five times a week. Mm -hmm. And for a good two weeks, my face, mm. I looked like Freddy Krueger. It was burnt. It was peeling. It was almost <gasps> like I did a non-intentional chemical peel. Yeah, no, literally. Oh, but salt and water. Yeah, yeah, salt I had and water. welts on my oh face. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, because it, it did burn it. But <laughs> it burnt my whole outer layer of my skin, and I had perfect flawless skin in two weeks nice i'll never do it again so it's worth it but i don't Jail know hacks. Wow. that was wow crazy. my acne was gone but what i did do as a spot treatment in jail was i would mix water and salt and i would apply it on the pimple and it would be mm. gone the next day i don't yeah. do it on it's i don't burning do it, it here, right like, yeah. but i don't know it interesting works. yeah, yeah. You said it noted. <laughs> oh my gosh okay so it's more on myths and like you know that's kind of stuff Okay, so, Ooh. you know, the whole thing, I feel like there's a there's a debate in the melanated community on SPF. Mm, like, yes. what is your take on SPF? Do we need SPF yes, in our whole do. body? Do we only need it Sorry, on our face? Do we, like... <laughs> well, no, you do. You yeah. Do, like, you definitely... Everybody needs SPF, and... Our um, whole body, like... The thing is yeah, with SPF. No, but is, just genuinely wondering. Like, <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? yeah, no, it's good for there you. There is a chemical yeah. SPF and there's a physical SPF. So, a physical SPF is with zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, and those are the best SPFs. However, it's, uh, uh, what's it called? Chemical SPFs are not bad. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just, I would rather the more natural route with the zinc, di- uh, the zinc and the titanium dioxide. The reason why we need SPF is to prevent aging and sun damage and stuff like that. Melanated skin, it doesn't show on melanated skin because melanin is a natural sunscreen. Do you still need it? Yes, because (laughs) if you have hyperpigmentation issues, it'll make them worse. Mm. Um, Do you need it for anti-aging purposes? You guys, black literally does not crack. Like I have clients that come into my place, literally this one woman specifically, she's 55 years old. I literally think she's my age. Like, yeah, um, <laughs> I love that. It's that magic, baby. But and, and, <laughs> and the girl. thing is with SPF is people are like, oh, SPF 25, 30, 40, yes. 50. Yeah. It's a difference. Those are real. Okay, good. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I, I heard that The difference is the time it covers you for. Oh. Mm. So SPF 50 is going to cover you for a longer period of time than SPF 20. Okay. Um, but ultimately, they do, all ultimately the same. yeah it's all, all right. the same but they they always recommend just to go with at least a minimum of tw- of uh 
30, 25 or 30, but yeah. Okay. Really I was literally annoying. at the beach the other day and someone gave me SPF like 25 or something and I was like, ugh, I need SPF 30. No, or it's SPF literally 50. the same. It's nice sound the dumb. thing is, if you have an SPF 25, you should probably reapply it every like hour or two. Um, oh, if you have okay. an SPF 60, you're fine. You're blessed. You didn't even... Yeah, you're good. You're chilling. Interesting. Um, During COVID, you know, we've eaten a lot. We've eaten foods (laughs) that we probably should not be eating on a regular. Are there any foods in particular that you would say that we should stay away from in regards to our skin? Um, Sugar Mm. is a huge one. Sugar, uh, they say, okay, we're going to go with what dermatologists clinically proven is that food actually doesn't affect your skin what interesting that's what they say however um going to school uh, that was like a huge topic for me i'm like every time i eat mcdonald's i get a breakout yeah blah 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 blah. so your body's organs are going to be affected before your skin and your skin is going to be the last organ that it's going to show on so Mm. If you start eating healthy, let's say I want to go on a healthy diet right now because I'm getting acne and whatever, whatever, Mm -hmm. it's going to show in like three months on my skin. Like it's going to detoxify my skin in like three months. However, a lot of people have certain opinions on that. My personal opinion is it does affect your organs before it affects your skin. Um, But um, eating healthy, you do eventually notice it on your skin. One time, through a period of time, I was just drinking carrot juice and eating a lot of sweet potato and whatever and my skin looked amazing because Mm -hmm. it's filled with vitamin a and vitamin a helps a lot with acne Mm -hmm. so yeah i think um and i guess water would you say like water is also like something maybe that essential 100 essential essential for your skin and your Mm -hmm. organs but like i Mm -hmm. said if you start drinking let's say today you start drinking three gallons of water whatever it's going to show on your skin way later but first you're going to feel better yeah um, what did I want to mention? I forget. Sorry. It's okay. okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's what editing's for, babes. Right? <laughs> um, what is, like, the most common, like, skin problem you've seen amongst all your clients in general? If you were to, like, create a summary. They pick their face. Yeah. All of I hear you say That's that all me. the time on IG Live. <laughs> yeah. They Stop all picking your face. pick their face. And they, they come and they're like... Ray, okay, Ray's gonna page one. me. Pick this one. Yeah, I oh, literally it came don't off do that. by itself and it popped by itself, and I don't know. What it's, it's just like, yo, why are you doing this? Like, what makes you think going in with a giant swollen boil on your face, like squeezing it, is gonna make it? Yeah, better. better. Like, it's no. not. But honestly, though, like a common skin, I would say, like problem that they have aside from picking is they all get a lot of blackheads. Mm. Yeah, on their nose and their chin area right here. Um, what causes like blackheads ultimately? A uh, dead skin, sebum production, just skin. Usually, everybody has a different skin type. There's oily combination, dry, oily, dry, oily combination. Blah 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 blah. Um, and everybody's skin is different. So the ones that would get the most blackheads on their nose, their chin, whatever, is really oily skin. But then dry skin will also get it as well because um, they'll get it when. They don't have a lot of, their skin is dehydrated, but it also mm-hmm. produces some sebum. So then that whitehead oxidizes and becomes a blackhead. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. So for pimples, we're just supposed to leave it or like? Yes. Oh. You're uh, supposed to, I don't really get you're them, You're supposed but. to treat it. So oh, get okay, a spot yeah. treatment and treat it. And then once it's gone, exfoliate the area to get rid of that mark mm-hmm. and um, just let it go. So no toothpaste. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the the hood go to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Remedies. What? What? Bro, I yeah. didn't know that. Toothpaste is on. supposed to whiten teeth. What do you think it's gonna do to your face? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's crazy. yeah. Or that like, makes a lot of or, sense. Um, I've also heard of like the Advil, like opening an Advil. What? You know really? what? I heard the Band Aid. Advil. The hydro- I've heard. Mm-hmm. I haven't tried, but the best spot treatment, like an at home spot treatment, would be to. Take an aspirin powder and mix it with water and just put it on the area and just really go yeah. like an ibuprofen. No aspirin. 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 Just aspirin. I don't have that. Yeah, yeah. just in a drugstore. Just yeah. Yeah. No one even uses. Aspirin. That's for headaches, right? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh, it can prevent. Uh, Isn't there blood, blood clots? Yeah. Oh. Um, so if someone has yes. a stroke, if you think someone's having one, pop one and it'll um, reduce the risk easy. Huh. Mm. Strokes, okay. cancer, all that stuff. Ding. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. um, hard, I had a question for you. So you're kind of also in the hair industry a little a bit, little. Yeah. a little bit. <laughs> the audience is snapping because listen, <laughs> Rand should be called like, I don't know the, the skin hair healer, the gem healer. Cause she'd be dropping gems on IG live for free. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> you don't need to Google anything, but, um, I have a couple of friends who have a lot of dandruff. These are men. Mm-hmm. Um, what could they do to prevent um, dandruff or get rid of it? Is there any specific treatments that they have to like undergo? Maybe to men slowly should get... stop using body wash for everything. Wow. <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Throw First. it all. It's the five in one. It's, it's the, the five, five in one, one for me. Yes, it or is the five. Fi- that's what one. it like, is. There's no. no men are so lazy. And it's crazy it's that so you're true. talking about men because like it's so common with them. They'll yeah, come in and they're huge. like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> And I'm like, well, what do you use? I don't know. Whatever's there. Like, <laughs> they have no idea. I wish I had his bar soap in his head. That's so <gasps> oh dry. So God. drying <laughs> to the hair strands. <laughs> it's, it's drying on the face, Holy depending shit. on which one it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So bar soap in the hair. I am <laughs> a strong believer, though, in oils. Like, mm-hmm. oils are, heal everything, and just mm-hmm. natural oils, not any mineral oils, man made oils. Like, oils, mm-hmm. studying oils is a huge part of my business. Like, yep. before I I started Nilifer Aesthetics. I studied oils like crazy. Um, and then also just natural clays. There are so much clays besides bentonite clay. Bentonite clay is a good clay. It's just mm-hmm. very drying. Yeah. Um, to prevent dandruff in, in their scalp, obviously they should change up their hair keratin into something that doesn't have any silicones, doesn't have any parabens, and then use uh, make hair masks. And when I say hair masks, I don't mean egg and mm-hmm. avocado. Mayo. Mayo. You know, like, <laughs> I mean, like a Roswell clay or um, a Kowalin clay, and mix that with a little bit of um, just a pure, rich oil, like castor oil, for example. We're just mm-hmm. gonna throw that one out there, and then um, literally a vitamin E capsule, a little bit of water, some yogurt, and just let, let it that sit. Sit, and then when you rinse it, comb your hair, but comb your your scalp yeah help that exfoliate it off you know Mm -hmm. and then put a protectant oil so something nourishing um i make a hair oil that hair oil is like a hair food yeah and so it just really nourishes that scalp and so that's how they and they have to be consistent obviously there you go everywhere yeah Yeah. there you go (laughs) for the men out there um last question of the night what is the most rewarding thing that you've received or gotten out of just being able to take care of people being so honest with my work so there's a huge thing right now it's so popular to have your own business right now like everybody Mm -hmm. has their own business and a lot of these businesses are just not honest work so there's things like we have body contouring for example Body contouring doesn't exist. Thank you. Um, you can only literally. So they're Red like, space. <laughs> yeah, because I that's, that bothers me. Yeah, I need someone to say they're that. They're saying <laughs> vacuum therapy. Come enhance your ass and enhance yeah. your titties, and you yeah. literally scientifically cannot transfer fat cells into another area besides with surgery. Huh. So okay. what they're doing is they're temporarily swelling that area. Nothing yeah. is permanent. None mm-hmm. of that is permanent. And then they tell you this is how to lose weight. This is what's going to happen. Come yeah. lose weight. Come get your body right. Come do this. Come do that. And and then when you tell them you're not seeing results, mind you, I studied this. I have I can do it if I wanted to. Mm-hmm. But when the teacher was explaining this to us, I'm like, it's not something I would want to offer in the spa because it's not honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not going to sell you a dream. I want to sell you what you want, results. Mm-hmm. And so when I when you come in here and you say, "Oh, I'm very insecure about my breasts. They're saggy or I want a bigger butt." And then I'm like, "Okay, yeah, pay me $600. Um, <laughs> this is what we're going to do and just make sure you work out every day and drink lots of water yeah. or else you won't see results." It's like <laughs> you're scamming okay. them yeah yeah well, you um, have to take more because then you, you can easily blame keep coming them back. like hey exactly. you haven't been oh, well, drinking you your water you haven't been working yesterday. exactly yeah. 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 And i see it all the time so yeah. the most rewarding Stamadum, thing yeah. literally <laughs> the most rewarding feeling with me is literally as soon as i'm finished a facial and i just ask how does your skin feel and they go yeah. oh my god great amazing it's so clean blah 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 and and honestly, that, but then also when they come in and they're just pouring out their whole heart. Like I had a girl yeah. earlier today just bawling her eyes out about what's happening in her life. But then being like, thank you so much. I don't know what it is. As soon as I come in here, I just want to 
just open up about everything mm-hmm. and and they come back every month or twice a month and they just I just get an update on their whole life. I've literally become like a therapist. Yeah. Yeah. Love that. That's such a I love that. I love that. <laughs> it's amazing. Like and just helping women and literally making friends with my clients. Like yeah. literally each and every single one of them I have my own personal friendship with. Mm-hmm. And the ones yeah. that I don't have a friendship with, they just don't come back. Like yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And, yeah. But all my clients right now, each and every one of them individually, I have a connection with. And um, usually by their second appointment we've developed a friendship yeah like, mm-hmm. but yeah love so that. that's yeah. very rewarding yeah. i love that i love that you're just making people feel good i feel like that's always like yeah you, you. you know especially like, right now yeah, yeah. It's, yeah it's like the small things and, and like, after like what you've been through as well because like you could have been like whatever like fuck everything i'm just gonna continue yeah. down this path but literally and there are so many women that i was in jail with that literally just go oh well this is my life now like right. they just mm. create they all these yeah. excuses and yeah. i was make i was doing facials in jail i would wow. literally mix As we you had, should. Oh, we i can see that yeah love that literally i, I was, that. love that story i are was any doing of them, oh yeah. sorry i was gonna ask if are any of them out that you like are still in contact on? with no. wow or, I don't know if she's going to want me to say this, but I'm going to say it anyway. She's my best friend and okay. um, very inspiring Love woman. That. We both talked about this together when we were locked up. Uh, K-Beauty Lounge, my laser tech. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Love that. Oh, God, I that that's was... a story. <laughs> she might kill you. <laughs> but now you just okay. shouted out her stuff. So. Yeah, no, exactly. that's big. No, that sounds like a, that that's sounds like a Netflix yeah, series. Yeah, yeah. Like, I watch that. That's literally that's goals. Like, yeah, like, I would literally <laughs> watch that. So. And I was literally talking was to her today, and um, because I can do laser, so I'm, but I literally she could do facials, I could do laser, but we just you do your Share. laser, I send you everybody, you send yeah. me everybody, her, just call it yeah. a day. We just make it work. So. Yeah. yeah, love that. Yeah, that's it. I love that. And shout out to Laser because <laughs> yeah, shout out to Laser, laser saves facts. lives. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Nice. Thanks so much for coming. Yeah, yeah. So you got so, yeah. so many yeah. jobs. So many jobs. I'm going yeah. back home and I'm gonna write. Well, now <laughs> after this, I'm writing. I'm gonna rewatch. I can't yeah. wait. Yeah. I'm gonna um, gonna gonna shout out yeah. your socials where they can reach you, how they can book you, even though you're booked and busy. Yeah. At Nilla Fair Aesthetics, you guys will be right here. Yeah, and then I don't. My personal page <laughs> is at Rhea.Rodney, I think, right? Period. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You'll see all the nice. information below. Thank you so Thank much you. for coming to Shalisa Marie Radio. Thank you guys all for tuning in, watching, listening. We support you. i oh, sorry. We thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> we do support you. No, we, we do support you. We support you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and tune back in next Thursday uh, for another episode at 9 p.m. And in the meantime, we yeah. are. Welcome to the After Show. In this segment of the After Show, Rayanne will be analyzing all of our skin types individually and subscribing the best fitted product to reduce the issues that we all have. So if you're somebody who has dry skin, oily skin, acne, struggles with dark marks, she subscribes the perfect products to get rid of these issues. So if you're interested in learning what these products are, tune in or tap in to our Patreon account for only $5 a month where you will be able to get a front seat view of behind the scenes and the juicy conversations that we have when the camera is off. In the meantime, thank you for tuning in to Shalisa Marie Radio and we will see you back next Thursday at 9 p.m. Mwah.